Good morning, people. It's day two. We are ready to go and set and ready. Juicy Couture's here in the house, number one and two. We're leaving, guys. Enjoy the view. All right, let's get the day going. We're gonna go get some breakfast. We'll see what we find. Bro, we gotta go pick up the last member of the trip. And this is La Mamalona way. This son of a bitch taking us around town today. And we're ready to go. I'll pass the camera over to my videographer, AKA my baby moms, <laughs> AKA Juicy Couture number one. La, la, la. La Valiada Queen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got shades everywhere, people. You gotta have options. You ready to go? Let's go, guys. Let's go have a good day. People don't fall in love, you know? These Honduran women be like fucking fighting you up so all the girls don't look at you. Happy weight. Baby, I'm living life. I'm living good. I'm traveling the world. Melly is, is we taking Melly out. Mi primo quiere. Quiere jalón. Try. Quiere try. Today's good deed, people. Today's good deed. Go give a little ride to homie, you know? Muchas gracias. De nada, primo. We made it to West what? West End? West Bay? West End. West End. I keep even getting confused. <laughs> we took a while. It's, a, it's like a 20 minute ride from where we're staying, but. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes, but then it took us like an hour because we fucking went the wrong way. My dumb ass didn't check the GPS. Oh well, we'll be alright. So now we're looking for some place to have breakfast. Working along the strip. Look at the water, man. It's beautiful. The palm trees. The mamacitas, you know. That's how you know you're in the island. They're trying to hustle us here. They, 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 they know we're tourists. We look like we're not from here. Wow. It's beautiful. I heard there's a better beach though, so we're gonna go check that out. After we grab something to eat, and we gotta pick up Egg City at the airport. You know, when you travel with children, you have to like make sure they get their sugar intake, <laughs> you know? <laughs> she likes gummy, she likes ice cream. Right, babe? Yeah. She looking fine. Uh, look at them titties out, people. <laughs> we in Salula's place. Salula's, yes sir, that's what we're gonna have right here. This right here. They have fresh made, fresh baleadas. They make it order. You guys decided what you guys gonna order? You know women, they be mad and decisive, bro. I'm gonna go upstairs. We're going upstairs, the ladies can't wait, bro. I like the decor though, the decor is pretty cool. What you order? Um, una baleada with everything, un jugo de pinga y desayuno isleño. What about you, baby? Mm. <laughs> mm. Who baby mama that? Mm. Who's baby mama is that? Let me see a little thick on thick on this. <laughs> what you order, baby? I'm baleada and I'm I'm You're hungry? Bro, it's hot. Yo, it's fucking blistering hot. I might have to order a little extra something. You know, I'm, my fat ass didn't think to eat that much. Yeah, we're gonna eat right next to the beach, guys. I'll see you when we get the food. 
This is the food, guys. Look at this. Baby, we live in large, baby. Show, show. We got that breakfast. That... Look at that baleada. Wow, so how much is it? Hers is kind of open. Let me open yours, man. Oh, sure. There you go. He got the eggs, the green gold. You know, it's got beans. This one doesn't have crema, but. It's a dollar fifty, right? Oh shit. We asked for crema and A dollar fifty for this shit. Now there you go. There you go. It's, you go, man. Let's spread that shit. How you doing? That's my favorite right there. You put that cream in there already? Mm -hmm. Alright baby, taste it. Test it, test it. Try it, Mimi. Don't drop it. Is it good? Nah. No, I'm good. You want it, babe? Eat that first and whatever you guys don't want, I'll have. Try it, baby. We're done eating. We just paid. Let's walk out of here. Muchas gracias. Cuídense. Hey, dale el quiebre ahí, dale el quiebre ahí, eh. So listen, so it was cheap. I, I think the food here is gonna be cheap. What do you guys think? Do you guys oh, like yeah. it? Yeah. Meli paid $10. What you get? I got baleada, punileño, um, and a juice, right? And, juice. and we got two breakfasts. We've got one baleada and two juices. We paid $26. I do recommend you guys to go over there. The views is pretty nice from the top. There's just a lot of cables in that way, but who cares, you know? Oh, we also bought some shirts for the sun because you know we white out here. We burn, baby. That ain't no joke. Last time we were in Colombia, we were out of commission for a night. For her birthday night, we couldn't go out because what happened, baby? I got burned. So yeah, so this time we decided to be smart, breed adults, you know, and protect ourselves. We need to put some sunscreen though, so right now we're gonna go to the beach. I'll see you when we get over there. So we just made it with West Bay. We just made it to the other beach. The girls are already getting naked, they got no shame. It's okay, it's fucking blistering hot. I just. Put some sun block on. Some very really nice little plaza over here. A nice little walk to the beach. Oh, I see some people down there in jet skis already. They're offered us some jet skis and stuff, but we're not doing that until Papa Goose gets here. Papa Goose. It looks nice out here, man. Me likey. We have mated. This is that, I guess, the most beautiful beach that they have. All the palm trees, that clear water, all the boats. They got plenty of activities and it goes all the way down there. All the way over there. And we're here for this, and I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> don't go too deep, guys. Wow. I'm too short, I already don't touch those. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.
We found this little dock and of course we gotta we gotta go explore. We're at the very like end park of the whole beach side and there's like rocks over there and there's like a restaurant and thingy. Can we come? I don't know if we can come but we're going. I see some coral over here. There's not much to say, but you have to come and experience it yourself. People, the pictures and videos don't do it justice. Okay, we're going, we're leaving because it's hot. The girls are running away. Right there, guys. You see it live. You see it here. You see it real. Honduras, higgete primo. That's one of the boats that goes off and they do the scuba diving. As a matter of fact, this is like second, I think, in the world best coral reef that you can come to. This is, people usually come here a lot to get their certificates in scuba diving. Once you get your certificates, it becomes pretty cheap. We we're looking online and it's five dives to get the certificate. Um, the price that I saw was about $250 for five dives. I think it's a really good price. And once you have your certification, you can just come with the different agencies that they have over here. And it's about $45 per dive. You can also do it without without having the certification, which is what we're gonna do later on. We're looking at different prices, comparing prices. You know, you always have to look and ask around. I always tell people, bro, you can't just go in for the first thing. You don't know if there's a better offer out there. So always look and compare, guys. And that's what we're gonna be doing, but man, the views here are gorgeous, brother. The water is so clear, the sand is so white. And compared to some other spots that I've been to, like the vendors are not as pushy. I mean, in Cartagena, it was in, it's, it's, it's insane. When we went to Isla de Rosario earlier on this year, like you couldn't just lay and chill like without the vendors basically harassing you. You know, it can get a little annoying, but over here, yeah, they try to, you know, they try to get their money. Like everywhere else, you know, it, 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 most of the income around here, be, it becomes, it comes from tourism. So yeah, they do try to get their money and stuff. But if you say no, you know, they, they won't bother you. Like, it's not like other places. And these two over here are breaking men's necks. Homie over there turn around like, ah, I heard that neck cracking. Listen, that's one of the things you, you, you travel beautiful women, men are gonna look. It's okay though, I don't care if they look, as long as they don't disrespect them. Remember, respect women. Look at these views, bro. This water. You can't forget about the palm trees, brother. When you come out with girls, it's like having kids. You take him out of the beach, you take him to walk, you take, let him go in the water, and you feed him. You give them a little ice cream after, cause these two got, thank you bro. They got a little sweet tooth. I think they found the place. You guys found it? Gelatos. They got the real gelatos right here. Let me see the flavors. Oh, Hello. how are you? That looks good. Lemon looks oh, good too. I know. I want. Meral una limon.
Gracias. I'm not only getting discounts, but they're buying me ice cream. I love it. Guys, travel with women. Is that related to you? Earlier, you were complaining about it. Guys, the, the gelato is, is awesome. Gelato time. Look at this place. La Placita Inc. No la Placita from Puerto Rico, guys. But la Placita Roa, tan Honduras. It's a really nice place. Beautiful garden over here. It's, it's nice here though. Papa Goose, I'm sorry. He must be. You think he's mad? Man, no. You're so worried. It's okay. And we're back at the airport, looking for Papa Goose. Papa Goose, where are you? We found Papa Goose and Duckling. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> I love you, man. Yeah, but it was like a couple days before. Uh, like I'm sorry we're late, guys. Mission accomplished, people. We, we found Papa Goose. We made it to Punta Gorda, people. This is one of the attractions here on Sundays. Everything is, well, mostly is closed on Sundays, but Punta Gorda, they do show. They do shows, they do dances, they talk about their culture. Listen to Punta. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm gonna go and show you down there, guys. This is the entrance of Punta Gorda. Papa Goose in the house! We're just blurring around, seeing what's going on. The whole pack is back. That place we were having dinner at, which that good, the food was really good. It gets so packed. It's like a little restaurant slash slash um, club, and they have all the fried food here. Hold on. Let me show you guys. All the fried food right here. There you go. That's the man right there. Whenever you guys come to Roatan, that's the plug. I'm gonna leave his phone number down there. I'll put it in the video. He's the man that's gonna hook you up. He speaks both English and Spanish, so he got you. That's the man right here. That's the man that mixes the drinks right here. There you go. Shout out to my brother. Guys, this trip is starting to get busy. We're gonna go see if we can go see some punta. Let's go see some punta over there. I'm gonna have to jump in there, guys. I gotta do it. There's tuk tuks over here too. Sunday fun day. We got the squad in the house.
This is that Garifuna music right here. This is where Punta originated from, guys. 